Welcome, Genevieve, to the New York Stock Exchange. I'm thrilled to be here. It's, it's my exciting. first time. Yes. And Wow, I can just feel the energy. The energy, the vibe, grit is on full display. Yeah, this is a dream come true. It's really great to have you here. Can you, let's start by talking about the innovation behind starting grit. Yeah, grit was kind of an accident with like all wonderful things in life. You don't plan them out, you sort of fall into them. Yeah. So originally, I, when I was going way back in the day uh, in university, I thought I was gonna be a doctor. Oh, wow. And I didn't even know about this wonderful world of Wall Street and capital markets and investing. Uh, it wasn't until I clued in, my father ran an asset management firm and he was telling me about what goes on in that world. And I started getting little kind of nuggets of interest and yeah. it's like wow instead of living in a hospital i could live and breathe commerce and you know the economy and learn about all sorts of different sectors mm -hmm. and so fast forward about after working there i started an investor relations firm that was called grit capital as well um, and at that time i was really trying to figure out you know what are some of the other tools that i don't have as a money manager what mm -hmm. i don't understand yet about companies i wanted to work on the inside of the companies yeah. and that's what i did with the investor relations firm and so that was the first iteration of grit was investor relations and mm -hmm. then COVID hit and we had to repivot the whole business and i relaunched it in november 2020 as a one woman newsletter wow it was just me back to basics i'm going to be an investor again and i'm going to write about it to the whole world on social media and it wasn't a business plan at that time it yeah. was more of an idea and a dream uh -huh. and i said i'll retool and refigure it out if it doesn't work but sent out my first issue and there were like 500 people in a week signing up organically Amazing. and so it just the ball just kept rolling and today we have over 300,000 subscribers wow we've done a couple acquisitions we've raised capital and we've got over 1.2 million followers across social media online. that's incredible what are you doing in new york city I'm in New York City, I'm so happy. A movie that I'm in, it's a documentary called This Is Not Financial Advice. And there's some great people behind it. Some of the early investors in Robinhood are, uh, are executive producers on the movie. There's some other influencers also, like Meet Kevin and Graham Stephan that have huge followings that I've met online, but never in person. Yes. So looking forward to meeting them and also just looking forward to seeing the final cut of the movie and how the audience uh, perceives the movie and you know, what the sort of pulse out there is in terms of the movie, because it's really educational. Yeah. It's about uh, an immigrant who came to America with basically no money, working multiple jobs. He takes his entire life savings and invested in Dogecoin. Wow. And then Dogecoin goes, you know, to the moon. He makes millions of dollars. But then Elon Musk goes on Saturday Night Live and everybody thinks Dogecoin is going to go higher, but it actually ends up crashing and they have video footage of him losing millions of dollars in real time oh my on gosh. TV. And so it's a cautionary tale about not putting all your eggs in one basket and being very careful not to be um, lured in, especially because of you know social media creating such aspirational wealth and making it seem so easy to attain through these new investment options. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think my job in the movie was to come in with a balanced view and be a voice of reason and say sort of you can do that stuff but do it with less than 20 percent of your capital because mm -hmm. you always want to stay in the game yeah. number one rule is to have chips in the investment game and not yes. lose them yes how do you see grit influencing the democratization of access when it comes to financing um, information we do it every day. We write to our uh, 300,000 now subscribers to our newsletter and we take you know, the things that Wall Street is saying and distill them down, whether it's in a tweet, whether it's in a TikTok video, whether it's in an Instagram video. Memes are a great way. Let's talk about memes for a second <laughs> because there's so much packed into a meme and it's not just, you know, your retail investors that are indulging in memes, but you have, you know, Elon Musk, the most powerful man in the world and arguably probably one of the most intelligent mm -hmm. trailblazers in many industries using memes as a form of communication. Yeah. And so why is it accessible is because you can take a picture from a movie or something that's just gone viral. And then in that picture or video, you teach somebody something, whether it's something that's happening with the Fed, okay, unlimited printing of money, what's going to happen then if that happens, you know? And so you have the little girl, there's a funny meme online with the little girl and she's got a house on fire burning behind her, you know? Oh and so it, it's, it's making it approachable to different audiences, whether they're sophisticated or not sophisticated. It's a uniting force. Mm -hmm. And I feel through the meme economy, people can learn concepts they wouldn't approach otherwise yeah. because they may seem 
too out of reach for them. That's so interesting. Yeah. And what is your take on institutions like the New York Stock Exchange? You're here at the epicenter of the global financial markets. What would you like to tell investors? I would love to tell investors that, you know, this is where it all started, right? And this is the, the house of capital, the home of it all, the home of entrepreneurial dreams. And it's just great to have companies such as myself that are out there being innovative, being invited to speak at such an you know, accredited institution with such a history. And I'm just so honored to be here. And it's, we're honored uh, to have you. We <laughs> welcome you back anytime. <laughs> I have so many ideas. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely going to uh, keep talking for sure. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. Perfect, loved it. Thank you for having me.